and welcome to 7 Minutes of This. I'm completely drunk. Joining me today is Alison Gazzino and Wilf Duggan. Alison here has written the likes of Let's Just Get Naked and A Pigeon in Ireland and has received her first Playwright Award. Congratulations! Thank you. Well done. And cue the screaming girls. Yes, ladies, Wilf Duggan is in the studio. Yes, this man has been everywhere this past year in his groundbreaking new TV series, It's All About Looks, which you can watch Sundays at 10 p.m. on Channel Zero. Please give a warm welcome to my panellists today. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's see what we have on today's show. Our main story tonight, should sex offenders be on a register for all to see or do they have the right to remain anonymous? We'll be discussing this with our panel in a bit. Then seven minutes of this takes our debate to the streets of the University of Hertfordshire to find out your opinions on the rising student fees and student riots. More on that later. Now word has it that the sex offenders list is to be going public. The Sex Offenders Register started in 1997 by the Labour government in the hopes of protecting the public. Offenders' information can be accessed for employment purposes under the Police Act of 1997. But is such an act an invasion of privacy? Do offenders really deserve to have their information disclosed? Or do they have the right to remain anonymous? This was brought up in light of a recent case published in The Sun of a man in his 30s convicted of two sex acts in his teens who has recently won a thousand pounds compensation. I'm going to throw it over to the panel now. So, Will, what do you think? Is making this list viewable to the public endangering the rights of sex offenders? Yeah, Liam, I think it really does because mm. when they take their CV to prospective employers and they've got two equally qualified CVs, one of a known sex offender yeah. and one of not, he might say he's equal rights, but he's always going to go for the non-sex offender. And that's just not fair. It's not fair. Um, so, Alison, is it not fair? Do they have a right to view the sex offender's information? Or do they deserve to remain anonymous? I think they absolutely have a right to view this information mm. because it is a criminal conviction and employers have a right to know who they're hiring. Mm. Um, oh, you're shaking your head, Wilf. No. Um, do you not agree with that? I mean, fair enough. Maybe if, like, this pedo wanted to work with kids, then, yeah, you know fair dues but what if he wanted to be a milkman or something then you know it's irrelevant really isn't it yeah it's a bit of a jump isn't it from that to a milkman wouldn't exactly you say? Well, i think it would have to do with the employer and so it would be the employer's decision but they could make mm. a fully qualified decision what about, but what about the public being able to view this i mean do they have a right or is it just for employers only i think that the public should know as well if you commit a crime you, there should be consequences. Yeah. Yeah, well, no, I can't agree with that. No. I mean, people are going to chuck eggs at their houses. And <laughs> That's a bit extreme view. That's very interesting. Thank you, Wilf. I'm going to have to stop you there, unfortunately. Um, that's all we have time for at the moment, but join us after the break when we ask, is violence an acceptable means of protest or just an excuse to damage property and endanger the public? See you after the break. Welcome back to the show. Now, if you have an opinion on tonight's show, then please send us a text. The number is 110707. And as always, please send us your emails to 7minutes at email.tv. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash 7 minutes. So get on the phone or online and tell us what you think. Right, Whitehall and Westminster. What do they have in common? Student riots, that's what. The UK's youth in revolt of government plans to increase student loans. But is violence a justified means of protest? Or is it just a bunch of yobs looking to destroy public property for their own amusement? Well, we took to the campus of the University of Hertfordshire with our roving reporter, Bernard, to find out what your opinion was on the matter. Hello, all viewers at home. This is Bernard on Lokesh. And today, I'm going to ask the members of the public what they think about the rising university tuition fees. Come on. Do you think that university tuition fees should be lower? I think they should be lower to what they are now because everybody should have the right to an education regardless of how much their parents or they earn. Um, to be honest, yeah. I mean, uh, everyone's scraping by at the moment and we're only at the beginning of the year, so definitely lower. Do you believe that violence is ever an acceptable means of protesting? No, no, no. We won't get them anywhere. Never. Because <laughs> violence is not going to do anything to anyone and you're going to be more putting the foot down like, well, well we're not going to change it if you're going to do violence. And you know, I don't think it's, violence is the appropriate action. No, you should always try and seek a non-violent means of protest. 
Back to you, Liam. Thank you, Liam. And yes, ladies, that man is single. Provoking thoughts, sir. Alison, you graduated from university only a couple of years ago. How do you feel about the rise in fees? Would you have come over here had they been risen to 10,000 points as in light of recent government plans? Well, I wouldn't be able to come at all. I wouldn't be able to go to university. Mm. If I did, and if I wanted to pursue a better education, I would be forced to be under a huge amount of debt. And that's just not fair. Okay, what about in America? Are the rules different there? Or um, would it just be the same financial situation for you? Well, in America, the students, when, when they're born, mm. you begin saving immediately yeah. for university. And it's oh, just not, right. it's not the same here, and it's unfair for okay. the students to bear the brunt Definitely. of that. Definitely. Um, well, Wilf, in light of what we've just seen, do you think that um, the riots are an accepted means of protest? Um, yeah, yep. I mean, sometimes when you're trying to get a message across to the government, I think violent protesting can be the only way that they're going to listen to you. So, uh, yeah, Alison, so Malcolm X or Martin Luther King? Well, I think that, that violence can be also destructive to yeah. your actual cause. Mm. And I think that you can get a lot more through peaceful protest mm. and get your point across, and more people will be willing to listen to you because it's more intellectual than just okay. kicking a can around. If you're a pussy. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Will. Well, that's great stuff there, you two, but unfortunately, that's all we've got time for. I'd like to thank my panel, though, for joining me, Alison Gazzino and Wilf Duggan. <laughs> fantastic. I've been completely smashed, and you've been watching seven minutes of this. Good night. <laughs>